Good evening, everybody, and a very warm welcome to everyone attending tonight. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. As principal of the Traffic College Group, it gives me great pleasure to introduce our Apprenticeships Awards event as we join together virtually to celebrate the success of our apprentices and the employers that we work in partnership with. Our Apprenticeships Award evening is an annual highlight in the Traffic College Group calendar. For those of you who have attended in previous years, you will notice that we are doing things a little different this time around for obvious reasons. However, this event promises to be no less inspiring and we have some amazing awards and stories of success to share with you. Apprenticeships have a very long-standing history in our country, having gone through many different guises. Certainly, the last 10 years or so has seen a huge surge in people taking up apprenticeship opportunities nationally, as well as employers dedicated to the apprenticeship course. They continue to be a wonderful opportunity for young people to enter worthwhile employment and for existing employees to further develop their skills and gain valuable professional qualifications. The apprenticeship programme is one that we are incredibly proud of at the Traffic College Group. In line with the national picture, we have seen significant growth in our provision, which has more than doubled in the last decade, thanks to the commitment of employers, as well as the expertise and dedication of our apprenticeship team. The range of our apprenticeship programmes is considerable, and we excel across many sectors, such as construction, engineering, pharmacy and lab technicians, childcare and education, hospitality and catering, hair and beauty, business and retail, and managerial and professional. In addition, at the Traffic College Group, we believe in transformational relationships with employers, not just transactional ones. What that means in practice is we try to work with employers to develop programmes that fully meet their needs, rather than just off-the-shelf apprenticeship qualifications. We also want to continually explore what more we can do together, how we can work more in partnership around the curriculum, what other opportunities exist for us to work together on, such as work placements, and much more besides. Developing such relationships is arguably more important now than ever before. We know that many businesses are facing increased challenges, not least because of the coronavirus pandemic. There is a danger that during such times, the investment in skills is not seen as a priority when business survival is everything. However, at the Traffic College Group, we are seeing little reduction in apprenticeships, which just shows how important this programme remains despite the desperate situation we find ourselves in. And the College is fully committed to working with you to understand your skills needs and your wider concerns to look at how we can support you and ultimately aid business recovery across the region. But tonight is about celebration. It is about celebrating the individual achievements of our apprentices and the dedication of employers to that apprenticeship course. So, without further ado, I will now virtually hand over to Joan Scott, the Assistant Principal for Adult Learning and Skills, to take us through the event. Enjoy the evening and thank you so much for your incredible support. Hi, I'm Joan Scott. I'm the Assistant Principal for Adult Skills and Apprentices here at Traffic College Group and it's my great pleasure to welcome you to the virtual, the first time we've done a virtual online apprenticeship awards. To me it's the highlight of the college calendar where we get to celebrate the success of some really hard working apprentices. At the college we work with hundreds and hundreds of businesses and fantastic companies across Trafford, Stockport and Greater Manchester but also across the North West and with national companies as well and we have 1,500 apprentices in lots and lots of different sectors and tonight is their night where we celebrate all their success. Um, it's National Apprenticeship Week, so it's timely that we are holding this event in this campaign that promotes apprenticeships across the whole of the UK. So tonight we are going to um, recognise the Apprentice of the Year in each of the major sectors. In addition, we have a Commitment to Training Award for the company that has gone above and beyond to support their apprentice in what has been a very challenging year. So I'd like to say congratulations to all the apprentice winners. You're all winners um, here tonight. Um, we absolutely recognise the commitment um, in this difficult year that you've put in to continue your studies. So I'd like to thank all the apprentices for their hard work. I'd also like to thank all the companies it has been difficult to support and keep learning and training going in a very difficult year and um, I'd also like to thank all our staff, the teachers, the trainers, the assessors who've gone above and beyond again in this, this year through the pandemic to make sure they've kept the training going and so that the apprentices don't, um, they can still keep on track with their, with their training and learning. At the end of the event tonight we also will announce 
the outstanding apprentice of the year, someone who has gone above and beyond um, and we are awarding the outstanding apprentice of the year award to them. So stay to the end and see the announcement um, for that award.
Congratulations to all our award winners this evening. You should be very, very proud of your achievement. We now move to the final award of the evening, which is the Outstanding Apprentice of the Year. This year, the award has been won by a hardworking, committed individual, Harrison Barnett. Um, Harrison Barnett has worked at the University of Salford and has already won an Outstanding Apprentice of the Year Award from the Institute of Science and Technology. This award was presented by Britain's first cosmonaut, Helen Sharman. During the pandemic, Harrison went to great lengths to support um, the COVID testing um, process. He travelled every day to Alderley Edge to help test the COVID samples while still uh, undertaking his job at the University of Salford and undertaking all his studies for his apprenticeship. Um, so this award goes to Harrison Barnett for his commitment, his hard work um, and his dedication to his apprenticeship. He's now studying on a chemistry degree and we're very, very proud of all his achievements. So congratulations, Harrison.